Tony in Lara, Australia, or Lara, L-A-R-A, -A, Australia. Okay. Uh, Paul, I have viewed a number of your videos where questions have related to a change in the sound from a system depending on the time of day it was, and your responses have always been insightful. I have solar panels in place and don't utilize a battery backup, so power is coming in directly into my home. My question is, have you any knowledge as to whether or not solar power has an effect on the quality of sound coming from my system? Well, uh, yeah. So one thing I would tell you is you're not going to have much in the way of listening at night. Yeah, yeah. All right. Enough of the wise-ass jokes. Because <laughs> the one thing I can tell you about solar power, it only works when the sun shines. So, okay. Y yeah, here's the thing. And, and this applies whether or not you have battery backup or not, because it really doesn't matter. Solar panels produce DC, direct current, battery voltage, okay? And each of the panels, I don't remember what they, uh, it's a couple of volts, and that's why you need a whole bunch of them. And they produce this direct current, this battery voltage. That battery voltage, you put them in series and you get a higher voltage, you have enough of them out there and you get a nice current, you can use that to charge a battery or you can use that to power your home. Your home runs on AC, alternating current, meaning that in your case, 50 times a second, it is alternating between plus and minus. And it does so in a very smooth transition we call a sine wave. So it starts at zero volts and it rises up to whatever in your home to 230 volts, right? So we're going to go half of that. What is that? Uh, 115. So it starts at zero. It goes up to a peak of 115 plus 115 uh, as measured from zero. Then it gently goes down back to zero all the way back down to minus 115 and then back up again. It makes this sort of sideways S. Is that an S? Yeah, that's an S. So a sideways S. Call it, we call it a sine wave. And that's what's powering your home. Now, most of the stuff in your home runs on DC, which is a whole other subject. Because <laughs> you could, theoretically, power it directly off the DC of your solar power. Life would be pretty good, I would assume. However, that is not the case. What happens is you're converting that DC voltage, whether it comes directly out of your solar panel or out of the battery or both, into a alternating current signal, AC. When you do that, that device, which is called an inverter, it does the inverse. It takes DC and makes it into AC. It's kind of like one of our power plants. They do sort of the same thing, AC in, DC, AC out. How you do that, how that inverter works is critical and how your audio is going to sound. Most of those inverters have, they can be pretty good, but they use class D technology without a lot of current behind them. And what that means is <clears throat> when you have a piece of gear like say a power amp or a traditional stereo piece of equipment, it has what is known as the low power factor. That power factor meaning that as this sine wave goes up and down, it's not drawing current. It only will draw current right at the very peak of the sine wave. And when it does that, it can distort the sine wave shape and that produces a whole bunch of distortion. You don't have the output impedance be where you want it, blah, blah, woof, woof. Bottom line, it all depends on the quality of your inverter. And 100% of the inverters that I have seen or have any familiarity with kind of suck for that. Not very good. So if you're going to do that, I would encourage you to get yourself a power plant because that will take this kind of okay current going in and fix it up for you so that when you are listening through solar power, it's going to sound great. Hope that helps. Okay.